how to become a high value woman and what does it mean to become a high value woman i am lois welcome to my channel here we are all about physical emotional mental wellness and to become the best version of ourselves let's get straight to the video what are the things that you can do to become a high value woman number one is femininity yes there's something we call femininity energy that every woman has it now um taking pride in your appearance it's not enough as a woman there are other femininity energies that you can express to the world and people get attracted to like uh, taking uh taking care of your body you know your body hygiene you know smelling nice you know looking good let me tell you one of the things that people will look at is your appearance there's something we see that people will see you first before they hear you so you have to groom yourself you have to look good you have to look the part and this doesn't mean that you take expensive um attires you know you get expensive jewelries no just looking presentable and looking colorful it's very very important it's another thing is in your speech what how do you express yourself if you're giving opinion you know does it come out politely are you so kind how do people receive your opinions are you that kind of a person who will react are you that kind of a person who will give out um some opinion in a rude way if you're in an environment do you uh do you mind do you mind what you say or do you you don't mind you just go out there and just say anything to anyone how are you uh, taking part in your power of speech your power of speech should not break people your power of speech should not hurt people but rather it should build people be kind be polite have that femininity energy you know you don't just say anything to anyone in anywhere you know you just have to look you just have to um survey the environment you have to look who you are talking to taking power in your speech in a very positive way and this is so attractive you know you don't have to react to things you don't have to react to someone who has maybe offended you taking power in your speech how to become a high value woman number two is practice self-care yes this is we are all about self-care and self-love there's a lot of ways and forms that you can practice self-care and self-love doing things that you love i am telling you they are going to um they are going to ignite other another part of you that maybe you have never seen if you are that kind of person who loves to go for nature walks if you are that kind of a person who love reading books you know who love um spending time with loved ones doing things that you love you know spending times with the people that you love practicing uh self-care if you're that kind of a person who love going for massage you know who the small things like uh, doing your nails like doing your hair that is self-love that is self-care this is not something that is over the moon no practicing self-care is going to bring you a lot of energy positive energy you know you feel new you feel you just feel nice about yourself how to become a high value woman number three is to level up your emotions yes what we call emotional intelligence never allow your emotions to rule you and this is a part that we really um we really take uh, for granted but it can really mess up and ruin us and people even can start to view us differently if you are a woman it's good to have emotional intelligence good to have emotional intelligence don't allow your emotions to take over you it's good to practice emotional intelligence and how do you do, do this by practicing being patient yes by practicing being patient being patient is going to avoid you from reacting and it's going to place you in a place of responding rather than reacting the moment you are patient you are going to think things through you're going to um, take time to respond to whatever has happened to you 
if you get yourself in a place of um of quarrel with people or with colleagues you know and people are just waiting for you to respond or to react you know and you will hear someone maybe telling you hey mimi singe mwacha i will not have kept quiet if i were you i could have done this and this and this and that is how we get to um, we get into doing things that we don't want but you just being patient and uh, maybe breathing in and out you know it is going to help you to practice emotional intelligence and people are going to respect you for that as a woman you don't have to react on everything that it's coming along your way yes another way of becoming a high value woman is high standards now the thing of high standards is defined differently with you and me this is how you define high standards through maybe your career through your job you know through how you respond to people you just define it differently but no matter how you de you define high standard don't settle for less if you have set that bar here if you have set that bar here let it remain here don't go below the bar and one of the things and all important things of uh, becoming a high value woman or and having high standards is like showcasing your worth you know you are telling people this is what i can take this is what i cannot take having high standards it's very very important another way of becoming a high value woman is having a life beside relationships People may ask, how do you have a life beside relationships? Try and look and have ways that you can spend time. You know, there are a lot of times maybe we, we have some idle time or we have some free time. What are you doing with that free time? Get things that interest you. Maybe like maybe going for gym, you know, um... Uh, spending time with loved ones you know st stimulating your mind through reading books you know just having something productive going on in your life beside the relationship life and this is going to avoid you a lot of things like being idle uh getting bored you know there are some people who say okay minime boeka or you can't spend some time alone that one it's going to um it's going to fill in having a life beside your relationship life doing what you love you know and not just wasting uh just doing anything is doing something productive to to be a plus in your life you know if it's taking a, a course maybe a short course if it's um getting a skill maybe uh, cooking drawing you know uh doing music all these things something that will add a plus in your life so there, those are some of the high value woman qualities that you can practice number one we have said femininity energy number two we have said that is self uh, self-care or self-love number three is leveling up emotionally number four is becoming having high standards and final one number five is having a life besides your relationship life if you have enjoyed this video let me know on the comment section and if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel what are you waiting for kindly hit that uh, button and subscribe thank you so much for joining me see you on the next video Adios.